what are the messages today? What are the energies today or messages? Last quarter moon in Capricorn. Leave the past behind. Anything else you want me to know? First quarter moon in Virgo. Assess the situation. There is a difference if you are assessing the situation. You're observing it. You're looking at it. You're trying to understand it. There is a difference here. All right. Speak your world into being. First quarter moon in Gemini is reversed. All right. What else do you want me to know? New moon in Aries. Go for it. All right. So, somebody is speaking the world into being. Some of them are not leaving it in the past. They're still keeping it in their world. And some of them are assessing it, meaning observing the situation. There is nothing wrong to trying to understand a situation. All right, there's nothing wrong with it. Full moon of Capricorn, take a reality check. So there's people about to get a reality check. All right. So what else is going on here? What is about leave the past behind? What is this about? Strength, trust. So strength the trust that leave the past behind. But there's some people I feel like doesn't have the strength to trust to let the past go. And some people are having the strength to observe it and trust it that there is for a reason. If that makes any sense. All right. What is for assessing the situation? What is that about? What is that about? Assessing the situation. Confidence. Yeah. There are some people who are having the confidence to be observant, to assess, meaning to understand the situation. And there's some who are not having the confidence or having the confidence, the strength, or the trust to why somebody is assessing, trying to understand it, observe it. All right. Yeah. Then you got speak your world into being. It's on the reverse of courage. So, yeah, they have no courage. They're not speaking their world into being with no confidence or courage. Sorry about that. Courage at this time. Let's go for it. Grieving. Yeah. At that, too. So, go for it is meaning that somebody is grieving. Or maybe from people observing the past to understand it, not stick there, there's a reason for it. Now, there could be people in suffering because some of you have strength, you trust, you have the confidence to have the courage to understand these people went for to bring themselves grieving because they went for it or go for it that's where they're going to get a reality check all right and it has to do with love so there is a situation here that it was a love dynamic somebody was trying to make somebody grief grieving trying to have somebody not to have the courage not to have the confidence, to not have the strength or trust. Somebody was messing with somebody's, um, 
love dynamic here is what I get the feeling of so far. So let's find out a little bit more. What else is going on? Hip hop queen, real quick. What is strength and trust? What is strength and trust about? Ambition. Somebody's got the ambition. So there's people who have the ambition to know when to leave the past behind. But there's people who got ambition that it makes you stronger and trust what was meant to happen, happen. Now, assess the situation with confidence is because now somebody is getting upset because <clears throat> you're understanding something of what happened, okay? Finding out about a situation, so pretty much there's people have an ambition to have the strength and trust to have the confidence because there's people getting defense uh, tip or tatting. So there is something kind of somewhat being revealed. So there's people who's getting mad that you keep bringing up the past and it's actually making sense and it's making people throw a temper tat more like a confrontational issue so you're assessing the situation you're doing it with confidence and you got the courage you may have caught something from the past about somebody's about to get a rude awakening let me see, what is courage? Yeah, skill. Some Somebody thought that they had the skill to where you wouldn't have the confidence to speak up for yourself. Like if something didn't add up from the past, you're having the courage and the skill to do something to show what you're really about, all right? And it's driving people insane, pretty much driving them into grief. So pretty much, these people thought they were getting away with it in the past by giving you grief. It's actually time for these people to somewhat feel the grief, is what I'm getting so far. They feel like, your skill is making people conversational to something that happened that you are understanding about. What is grieving? Yeah, change. Yeah, so I feel like something happened here. And there's leadership too. So go for it and grieve in and change. So maybe this was the only way for somebody to actually change their ways of doing something. Now, I'm not for sure. I'm not I'm not picking up like somebody was trying to be rude. I don't feel like somebody's trying to be vindictive. I feel like somebody proved a point to someone without even trying is what I get the feeling of. Somebody literally feels like you are a leadership they could be somewhat like i said people get intimidated by people who are thinkers who can solve problems puzzle pieces something that adds up something needs to change but there's also another negative thing to this too these people wants you to change to feel grief because they don't want you to speak up about something that you're catching on to about their reality check take a reality check to messing with your loving self you are love you are light 
And these people were trying to dim that. People were trying to make you not so lovable because of what they were doing in the past to you. Like I said, you have the strength and you trust that you are having the confidence and the courage to understand they will be in grieving. Eventually, these people will get what they deserve. That's why there's people being conversational because they feel like their skill is not working. It's going to lead people to where they're going to have to bring change. Because go for it. Grieving change. They were trying to change an individual to being so hateful it did not work in their favor. They're the ones who's going to have to change because they're in grieving. Because they feel like their skills... They didn't have the confidence or the strength to try to bring you... So pretty much somebody is literally trying to shut you up. Of what you know about. Light and love always beats dark. All the time. Remember that. Light always beats dark. And I think think and I think that's what's irritating half these people because you are the child of light and since they mess with you they're gonna be put in grieving to where they're gonna have to change their ways of understanding that they're not gonna get away with their stuff like I said there is a difference between harping on the past but when you sit there and you think on it and you're asking questions and you speak your mind with courage and the confidence, the strength and trust what is coming out of your mouth. Now you got people tipper tatting, getting really frustrated, bickering because you're assessing the situation. They're not liking it that you're possibly catching on. To what they have possibly done in the dark that you don't know about. What is ambition? Yeah. Fox spirit. Think on your feet. Exactly. These people are not going to be able to pretty much think on their feet. They're not going to be quick enough to be quick. So pretty much these people are trying to be quick. On their feet think on your feet they're not going to be able to think on their feet by what you understand now of what happened if they are not going to be able to be able to think on their feet you pretty much caught them and then we got um, defense tipper tatting rhino spirit Overcoming any obstacle. So that's what's irritating people. Is that you are assessing it. You have strength, trust, confidence, courage. That's why these people are throwing fits. Because you know how to think on your feet. And you're overcoming any obstacle. And they're not going to be able to confidently. They're not going to be able to. Trust in the great mystery and that skill right here. So, yeah, there's something here that these people were trying to hide of what they were trying to do in the shadows. And it's not working out in their favor. I'll tell you that. It's not working out in their favor. Because you have the courage to understand the unhidden and the unknown. And plus mysteries also saying that you are uncovering a truth. People try to bring you obstacles. They try to get it to where you couldn't overcome them. They were trying to get it to where you couldn't think on your feet. They were trying to get it to where that you would get a reality check. But tables have flipped. Alright. 
Tables have turned here. What is change about? Go for it. Grieving and change. What is this about? Yep, time to heal. These people are not healed, so they're trying to make it out to where you're not healed, but you are. When you can actually sit there and have the strength and trust and the courage and have confidence. Uh, see horse spirit, watch and wait. These people are unfolding themselves. They're the ones who are not healed. Because you want to know why? The snake spirit. Somebody's being a snake in your corners. Watch and wait. These people just revealed their true selves. These people just revealed their true colors. They don't want you to heal. They want you to pretty much not change. You have done your grieving. You've changed and you've healed. That's what they're upset about. That you're not miserable. You're not grieving. You're not stuck. And whatever they try to do to you. Any obstacles. You have overcame that with courage. And they helped you to give you the skill. To understand the unhidden. The unknown. Because watch and wait. You were observing. That you knew these people's times were coming. They should have left you alone. They shouldn't even tried you in the first place. They should have just left you alone. But these people don't understand it. And they quite frankly don't get it. Of what they have done to the energy flow. Because these people don't care. They say well it goes whatever I say. No 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 no. Watch and wait. There is something that spirit is wanting some people to look at the past very carefully not harp on it and then start talking and then once you got people starting to be very um tipper tatting because you found out a snake you found out a very sneaky energy flow watch and wait these people will unfold of what they have done to you give it time watch and wait yeah Leave the past behind because they were trying to get it to where you wouldn't have the strength to have a beginning. They didn't want you to have a new beginning. They wanted you stuck in obstacles. They were trying to get it to where you wouldn't assess the situation. They didn't want you to be a thinker. They don't want you to understand what fully happened and yeah, abundance could mean money-wise. Somebody could try to mess with your money flow. Or they try to mess with your good fortune at that too. And that's what can happen to them. Somebody messes with your fortune. Somebody's going to need gratitude. Okay, I don't know why you're wanting me to take these two, but okay, I'll do it. Yeah, gratitude. Ungrateful. Not thankful for what they have. And then there's here. Um, extremes. Yeah, somebody wanted to... Um, pretty much wanted you to deal with something. Because they're going through a midlife crisis. It was not dealt in a very nice way. So there were people who were possibly having a midlife crisis. The extremes of bringing trouble to you. Trying to confuse you so that you wouldn't trust. And also on top of that, they didn't want you to trust yeah, so pretty much they were trusting that you would surrender to their abusive ways. They thought that you were going to surrender to trusting them to keep on hurting you. And it don't work like that. So we got two clarifications. Trust and surrender. They should have surrendered. 
by trying to mess with you on a very odd level here. They're not gratitude, meaning they do not care. They're not grateful that you're healing and doing better. They wanted you to feel weak. Don't take somebody's kindness for weakness because I can always backfire on you at all times. Yep. Yep, all tied up. Yep. They try to get somebody all tied up and trying to have obstacles. Trying to get them all tied up. But they pretty much done it to themselves because of what they try to do. Yep. And the abundance is hostilities. Yep. So that's what it is. Watch and wait and trust. Surrender and let these people be hostile. Because they will get a reality check. Because you are observing the past. You are understanding with what was going on. These people will get hostile because you called them out. Now they're tied up. Now they're having hostility issues where they can't overcome any obstacles. They cannot think on their feet. They have no confidence. They don't have it. Alright. So in here too. That gratitude... They were trying to have a happy family behind your back. That could mean like cheating, trying to make you miserable, trying to make it where like you weren't loved. Somebody literally tried to make you feel like the scum of the earth. And it's time to heal because these people thought they had the courage to treat you so fucking badly that they thought that you would never find out. That these people were literally dating you and then turned around and had a happy family elsewhere, living a double life. That's why it says, take a reality check, watch and wait, trust that you are a leadership, surrender to love and divine because people will get a reality check. These people will get back what they have done. That's why they're in grieving. Because they can't change. And they don't want to heal. Because now they're dealing with hot moon right now. They're dealing with really bad turmoil. They are dealing with some really nasty shit right now. That they should have not done it to you. And there's heartbreak. Yeah. Right on top of extremes. And there's a man or a woman holding a heart. Yeah. They're heartbroken. Because they pretty much. Broken their own heart by trying to mess with yours. Or being a heartbreaker towards everybody else. So there is a man or a woman out here. Who is in a relationship or who is married. In a serious commitment that is literally coming out here trying to get new love, new hoes on the side to break your heart. But in the end, watch and wait. They will unfold. You've already caught on to their past behaviors. That's why you're assessing, you're observing. Each time you call them out about something... They're all tied up. They are bringing hostilities because they brought themselves obstacles. Because you caught them trying to have a double life. You caught them trying to bring you grief. You caught them of them not healing because they broke their own heart. So they're trying to hurt you so they don't take the responsibility. So somebody already knows this about an individual and it ain't pretty. From what I'm understanding, all tied up. This could be multiple people who they're trying to go to or saying, well, I'm single. I'm not with this person. I love you. And there's been scenarios like this that's been going on. That's why it says watch and wait, trust, surrender. 
Meaning, don't try to control it. Let it go with the flow. These people will have to take a reality check. These people will have to deal with hostility. They're going to get all tied up. Eventually, they're going to get somebody pregnant that they're going to get all tied up in that they can't handle. Then they're going to get hostile towards the person who they're fucking, the hose on the side. And then felt heartbroken because of their decisions. Watch and wait. Trust. Surrender. Let it go with the flow. These people are hurting themselves by thinking that they think their grass is greener on the other side. And I feel like some, some of these people have already known this. That's why they're not heartbroken. Because they already know. When you know, it really don't affect you. But it will make you upset. It can cause some type of upheaval. But any person has a right when they find out that their significant others switching up, acting odd, not acting right, trying to get with other hoes, or a girl trying to get with a man hoe, like a side piece. Oh yeah, it's going to make people where it's going to bring arguments, hostile energies. Because you're messing with people's hearts. And the reasons why they bring hostility is because their heart is broken. Their emotions are so out of whack. Because they thought they were bringing you hostilities. Some people say leave the past behind. But once you're assessing the situation, you're starting to understand, okay, these emotions are not mine. I know something's up. I know him or her is going out fucking other bitches, other men, pretty much. It will be unfold. And I think, I think somebody in the energy flow is secretly hiding this and knowing that they brought heartbreak because they feel like they're having a midlife crisis or they didn't know how to handle a situation and they just made more problems of problems that they should have not done. So somebody just literally kind of admitted through the cards that they are living a double life. They are admitting that they are going around cheating, not giving a damn. And these girls or men that are friends now, there's a difference. You can actually have girl that are friends. You can have guy that's a friend. But there is a line between a fine line here. This is where you need to watch and wait. If a guy gets too close to any girl, it don't matter if it's the exes or a friend, they get too close and they act different towards you because of another man or a woman. Watch and wait and trust your gut. Because they're going around saying that they're single when they know for a fact they're not. You know it. Why do you think they're going to have to take a reality check? They're breaking their own heart by trying to mess with your emotional state. That's their karma. They're going to have to deal with it. So it says watch and wait. Surrender. Just watch and observe. It will unfold itself. It will unfold. Give it time. Like I said, it, it's, it's almost like a confession. That a man or a woman, because I take it both ways. Man or a woman holding a heart here. I take it both ways. They just admitted that they are going around telling people that they're single, they're not married, they're on dating apps, and not telling you the truth. Because they're living a double life. They're fucking random ass hoes. They're going places without you. They're acting different when they're not around you. And then that energy gets brought back home. And then they switch up, watch and wait, trust, 
trust what you're feeling. Now, if you're not 100% sure, trust and believe. Trust in your strength and your trust. Have the confidence and the courage to know, watch and wait, and trust what's going to be unfolded eventually in time. These people are not telling you they got themselves all tied up. And hostility, a double life with different people they're trying to get with other people. Possibly screwing them and then coming back home to you. And there's people who knows about it. But they're not going to tell you. Let me see, what is it all tied up about? Conflicts with other others caused by opposing opinions walk away from drama unless the situation is really worth your time then stand up for yourself very ambitious people yeah so it is actually time <clears throat> if you if you feel the need that you really want to fight for something only if it's worth it if it's not worth it, get away from it. Get away from conflict. Stand up for yourself. This is why people are mad at you. That's why they're that's why people are getting so angry with you, wanting to argue with you, is because you're standing up for yourself. You are very opinionated, meaning you're gonna speak it like it is. If they get mad, get hostile, want to get in your face, or want to try to argue with you, or get very frustrated, then you already know what's up. But Spirit is saying, conflicts with others by cause opposing opinions. So, like I said about the man or the woman holding a heart, trying to live a double life, it's drama, it's conflict. That they got themselves all tied up in. So literally somebody is literally conflicted. Because you got to remember. When you are dating somebody. Or engaged to somebody. And you're trying to mess with everybody and anybody. You are going to get all tied up. In the past being brought up. Regardless. And spirit is saying. Walk away. From the drama unless the situation is really worth your time so really make sure be before you start fighting for what's right before you start standing up for yourself spirit wants you to make sure that it is worth your time if not get away from it let them deal with it only if it's worth it all right that's what I'm getting from spirit Somebody got themselves all tied up and they're not telling you about nothing. Because they're hiding something. That's the only thing I could think of. Let me see. Motivational, inspiring, theoretic, theatrical, ambitious. Take a leadership role. Step into the spotlight. Public speaking. Keep your eyes on the big prize. Communicate your vision. Don't be sensitive to criticism. Okay, so that's on hostility. Yeah. So you are a public speaker. You could have a platform or you could be having a business. I don't know. That could mean anything. And it's saying don't be sensitive to criticism. So there are people getting their feelings hurt. Because you're publicly speaking. And you're communicating your vision. Meaning what you're seeing with your third eye. You are sharing your spiritual gifts. Is what how I'm understanding this. Which this is really different. How I'm picking up on this. But that's what it is. Communicate your vision. So there's other people. Not just me. That somebody is literally seeing this with their third eye. And it's telling somebody, don't be sensitive to criticism. That whoever you're dealing with 
cannot handle criticism <clears throat> to what you speak the truth about. And remember what it was on All Tied Up? Was conflicts with others caused by opposing opinions. Walk away from drama. That's what it is. They they can't they can't really stand it that you may have called somebody out saying what get yourself all tied up with. What have you done? What have you done? Somebody is literally picking this up in the energy flow that somebody has done something that's not very pleasant to the energy flow. And plus people <clears throat> who are very spiritual can pick this up and knows the hostilities is because you are communicating with your vision. You're publicly speaking that there's people who's going to be very triggered. They're going to be sensitive to criticism that they don't want to be judged pretty much. They don't want to hear it of what you know, what they're doing. They don't much care what you got to say. Pretty much if you say anything of the sort... I believe this and this and this and why are you doing this? Watch and wait. They're going to unfold. Trust. Because they can't surrender their fuck shit. They're caught. This is pretty much a confession. To the energy flow. That they are sensitive to criticism. They can't stand you being firm and speaking your truth. They get so fucking mad that you know about a double life. Or there's multiple people in the mix and you know about it. So let me see. Happy family. The illusions of entrapment. A lack of self-confidence that makes you feel hopeless. Yeah, hopeless. Being afraid to take action. Take responsibility for your life now. Oh yeah, that's also a big thing here too. Somebody don't want to take self-responsibility. Of what they've done to the energy flow at that too. And um, somebody feels that somebody was feeding them illusions. Remember what I said? The grass is not greener on the other side. They can't handle criticism. That's what it is. They lack of self-confidence. Meaning, since, since you speak how the way you are, you are firm. You are legit. You are the shit, alright? You speak truth all right you speak it for how the fuck it is right these people feels entrapped meaning illusion is also manipulative manipulation at that too so for whoever they are around with they feel trapped because of what they've done and who they're hanging around with and for whoever they had a double life with or multiple behind your back. They feel helplessness like they don't know what to do. But you know what? Take self-responsibility. That's why you don't play with the energy flow. That's why you don't mess with people. And that's why somebody's heartbroken. And they need to heal. So what's heartbroken about? What's heartbroken about? Only, I don't know why you want to. Alright. So. Oh, I got so many cards, it's not even funny. Out here, so for right now. Let me see. Yeah. I will read you in a minute. Alright. The Dreamer and the Magician. Alright. The Dreamer, a new start. Trust yourself, push your fears aside. And take a leap of faith. Magic is alive in your life. What you need to be a success will manifest if you believe it. You can do it. So somebody literally feels heartbroken because they were manipulated into taking a leap of faith elsewhere. That's what they're heartbroken about. That's why they were bringing you hostilities. That's why they were getting mad at you for understanding. You were calling them out. Right on. Every time. Watch and wait. You called out. You were being criticism towards them. And they're sensitive to it. But they were bringing you hostility. Because now they're heartbroken. Because they got manipulated. 
by not taking self responsibility for their actions. And then you got the emperor, or excuse me, the empress. Well, it could it could be both, the emperor and the empress. So I'm gonna go along with it. Time to take action. Give birth to your dreams. Creative projects will be very successful. Abundance and prosperity. And the empress and the emperor says give birth to your dreams. So their dreams were crushed. That it was all an illusion. It was not even real. It wasn't even nothing. They just pretty much ran into their match. They brought them heartache, trouble, conflict. Now they got to clean up their own actions. They got to take self-responsibility for giving birth to their dreams. Somebody gave them, gave them a false dream. For some odd reason, somebody didn't want me to speak because I was mumbling like it didn't want to come out. Like somebody was literally trying to keep my mouth shut. And that's also confirmation. Somebody don't want you to speak that. They don't want you to speak the truth. They don't want you to speak up about, you know, they're going to take a reality check. You know, they're going to get karma. You know, they're going to get karma by messing with your love. And that is a spiritual waters. I wouldn't recommend that. Watch and wait. You watched and wait. You surrendered. You trust that this man or woman is nothing but a hoe. They're a straight up hypocrite too. They don't like the criticism and that's why they're bringing you hostility because you called them out on their bullshit. Because they were pretty much the magician is magic. That is not real. That is not, the grass is not greener on the other side. If you got people trying to manipulate you through words or love magic to get somebody, you know, that is a sorcerer who brings greed troubles hurt someone because of the magic flow so someone is literally freaking out that you are going to find out they may have gotten a girl pregnant or multiple behind your back they are fearful that you're going to find this out that they got multiple girls pregnant Or they're fearful that you're going to find out that the man or woman has not been faithful. And they took a leap of faith because they were pretty much illusion. Meaning clouded their mind, confused them about you. And once, once that gets picked up, guess what? You know automatically something's up, something's wrong. Something happened with the energy flow that is not okay. That's why people are trying to bring hostility. That's why they're trying to bring arguments. Because they know what they're doing is not okay. At that too. They're messing with your love. They are messing with your trust. They can't surrender their fuck shit. Because they want hoes. That's all they want. They took a leap of faith of being manipulated. So bad where they broke their own heart. Because you're speaking truth and they can't fucking stand it. Well, then stop playing with people's energy flows. And also, who's kind of pissed off too, is that for whoever is fucking those individuals, they're also mad because you're the, you're the main one who's dating the individual. They're mad because you found out they're doing stuff upon them. <coughs> That should have not been doing it. By manipulation. Or it could also be the man or a woman who manipulated and it backfired on the ass. The grass is never greener. Do not ever take somebody for granted. Don't take their love for granted. Don't ever take their strength or their trust, kindness for weakness. Don't you ever think somebody... Don't ever think you can dim somebody's confidence. Don't you ever think you could ever take away somebody's courage. Because now they ass is in grieving. Because they got manipulated by a narcissistic person. You know what I mean? Now they got to deal with all this crazy shit and they can't handle it. Is what I'm understanding. 
So what are the lessons here? What are the lessons here, actually? For the conflicts, what about the leave the past behind? What are the... Yeah, yeah forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Yeah. They literally just admitted they try to block you out of love. They try to cock block you out of love. Guess what? They blocked themselves. Now they want to ask you for forgiveness. Because of what they done was wrong. Because they got themselves tied up. Now we got humor in reversed. Okay. So pretty much it's funny. So these people thought that it was so hilarious when they were they were pretty much trying to bring conflict to you, right? They tried to get y'all tied up. Trying to get you where you couldn't think on your feet. They were trying to mess with your strength and your trust, right? Now not leaving the past behind of assessing the situation. Now it's a humorous situation. Now they're gonna have a hard time overcoming any obstacles because now they're the laughing stock they're the clowns of the show they just really embarrass the hell out of themselves you want to know why they embarrass themselves it was over because of love they wanted love and they were greedy and selfish about it which they need to take self-responsibility for it and no it did not it did not bring seeing seeing the good in all things. This did not bring a good thing out. And they're starting to realize this. It brought them trouble, problems, where it is being discovered. Alright. So what is for the go for it? The grieving part change, time to heal. Yeah, friendship. They had they had their friends, their friendships telling another to go and do shit. And you wanna know what happens? By having their friends trying to control them, telling them to go towards another, trying to bring like literally pe people were literally trying to embarrass you, right? They tried to humiliate you by what they were doing to you. But guess what happened? Now, they asses are getting a judgment call. Judgment call on they asses for what they've done. That's getting in between two people. That is getting in the mix of messing with the love dynamic. And that will get you cursed. And that's why humor is in reverse. It's making fun of their friends and their people. Now, they're being the laughstock. That now they feel humiliated. Now that they're getting karma. They feel heartbroken. Because these friends. Thought. That they were going to put you in suffering. Watch and wait. Trust the universe. You assessing the situation of the past. It just brought it up. To where they can't hide it no more. Their friends. We're trying to get people to treat you unfairly and treat you unjustly. And God said, judgment call, karma. Mm, you know what I mean? You don't do that. That's why you stay the fuck out of it. You don't get in between of trying to make fun of somebody because they can always come back on you. And guess what? The one who's laughing, the one who always tries to do something like friendships like i said you got a man or a woman holding a heart they were their friends were trying to get them to go to different people and fuck other people behind your back you knew about it and now somebody doesn't know how to feel because they're under judgment God's not going to play with that. God's not going to let somebody mess with your love dynamic like that. They're not going to let people come in between you of what you got. Because they want them away from you because they don't like you. God said you're getting a judgment call for that. And you are the laughing stock. Which the laughing part is because you're an idiot. Because it's sense of humor is because they can't handle criticism. 
they can't handle that you are a public speaker. They can't handle the criticism what you speak of. So pretty much, you just pretty much judged God. I'm just the messenger. That's why you're getting a judgment call. Because you try to bring conflict to God. You try to bring drama. And that's probably where opposing opinions is because there were people being influenced to do something wrong that should have not been done. That's why that's why it's a humorous situation. That's why they're being laughed at. Not the other way around. That's why it says watch and wait. These people will unfold. That's why they can't think on their feet. That's why they're hostile. That's why they are pretty much not lovey-dovey towards you. They can't sleep at nights. Because they know what they did is wrong. Or they feel so humiliated at the fact they got manipulated so fucking badly that karma hit them in they ass and let a fire underneath them and God showed them what was up. That's why you don't mess with somebody's strength. You don't mess with their trust. You don't mess with their confidence. You don't mess with their courage. You don't mess with somebody's love. And you don't mess with somebody's trust. And that's what happened. Because they couldn't surrender that an individual was going to find out eventually. So I believe this is a confession reading. Not even realizing it. <clears throat> what is the forgiveness about, actually? I would love to know that. What is the forgiveness about? I would love to know this. This is very interesting to me now. The tea has been spilt. What is the forgiveness about? Yeah, the fool. The, <laughs> you know, yeah, it's because they were a fool. Because they fell for some when they should not have done it. Now, what's the humor? What's the humor about? What's the humor about? Yeah, they're the devil. That's what's funny about it. Actually, that's why it's sense of humorous right now. Because the devil was controlling them. They were literally controlled by the devil, by making people be a fool. God works in the most mysterious ways. I will tell you that. The devil just brings path of destruction. And you got the two of cups. For both sides. I'm going to go ahead and keep it like that. Because there's a reason for it. So somebody thought by bringing you. Conflict problems. Somebody thought by. Trying to go around. Trying to get people to have nothing to do with you. That's two. So I'm going to keep it like that. So the two of cups. Landed on. <clears throat> If I can get it correctly, if my courage will actually work with me. On the speaker world into being. And also friendship. So yeah, there were people trying to think it was going to bring them the Nine of Cups like a wish fulfillment. That somebody wouldn't have anything to do with you. They were trying to get somebody to have the courage to come in and try to break your heart. But not understanding that they've done it to themselves. Now they're dealing with karma as of right now. They're dealing with some karma that they have done. They should have not done it. I will say that as of right now. You should have not messed with trying to get somebody else to be with somebody else. You can't do that. Because it will not work in your favor. I promise you that. And they were a fool. Now somebody's going to be asking for forgiveness. Because now the devil is laughing at individuals who fell for his foolishness behavior. Somebody fell in the temptation to treat you like shit. And the devil just pretty much made a laughing stock out of you. Because you fell for the devil's trap. 
That's why there's judgment here. There was temptation here. Somebody thought they could have a happy family and not take self-responsibility. That they're messing with the heart chakra. And messing with the mind chakra. I don't know why I said that, but... It's the mind chakra, the heart chakra. Somebody was literally trying to shut me up, so that would explain it too. Somebody's trying to mess with your throat chakra so that you wouldn't get it out of what you know. And they thought they were going to get the nine of cups. Judgment came in saying, do you think you're going to get a wish fulfillment? I don't think so. Karma. Of trying to break somebody's heart from not healing. The grieving part. They put you in so much grief that God heard you cry. That's why they broke their own heart by what they try to do. They try to get somebody the courage to not take self-responsibility by trying to have a happy family. That means it could be more than one person. I really hate to say that. I say the six... The Six of Cups. I believe there's more than that. At that too. That's why there's a judgment call. Because somebody's not knocking off their fuck shit. That's why it says. Watch and wait. Trust. They will take a reality check. And time. Give it time. You can't rush the process. You have to let it what it needs to do. In order for it to work. Alright. So let's find out. Actually let me do this deck. So it can make sense to me. I don't know why. But I'll go and do this deck. What is the fool about. With all this combinement. What is this about honestly. Moon and Sagittarius. Be prepared to be. Yeah, be prepared to be adaptable as plans you have laid may take an unexpected curse. Yep. So be ready for the adaptable to happen really soon. People's plans may not work out in their favor. Moon and Aquarius. The time is ripe for celebrating life. Make the most of Parties, gatherings, and other social opportunities. So there's a humor in that situation right there about gatherings. I have no idea what that's about for sure. Let me see. Half to a full moon. Embracing high levels of motivation and energy will bring feelings of empowerment and satisfaction. So that's pretty much what happened here. Somebody's getting a judgment call because they thought they were going to bring empowerment to a situation that they thought they were going to have. And you got the owl. The owl also knows hidden secrets. The owl also knows a lot of hidden wisdom stuff. And moon and Capricorn put aside emotional considerations and Focus on achieving or increasing financial security. So you got the owl. A crisis will allow you to look into yourself and make an important revelation. Yeah. So there is a there is a crisis. There is a crisis going on, and I stated something about a crisis going on. So there is an owl who knows all and sees all. And it's something about the moon in Aquarius. About celebrating life. Be prepared to be adaptable. And somebody thought they were going to... They were going to bring... Some type of high levels of motivation and energy will bring feelings of empowerment, satisfaction. So somebody literally thought that they were going to do this to you. Because they, they thought it brought themselves empowerment... And it was going to bring them satisfaction when they hurt you. 
from a gathering. That can mean some place. It could be a family thing. There's something here. But the owl saying there is a crisis going on. Or there will be a crisis in the mix of this crazy shit as of right now. And also, take unexpected curse. So, some people being the fool, all tied up. They're going to have to be prepared to be adaptable to a celebration of life. Parties and gathering of other opportunities. So, yeah, they just pretty much did something in a family dynamic. Maybe this could have happened at a party. This could happen at a, a celebration of life. Could mean a rebirth or a birth of a child or something of a rebirth of a new crisis in their life. I'm not for sure. But somebody thought it was going to bring them empowerment and satisfaction to try to bring you crisis. But a crisis will allow you to look into yourself and make an important revelation. So that's what somebody was trying to do. They were trying to bring you a crisis into your life about what they were really truthfully doing. They were going to gatherings. They were going places without you to meet up. Because they felt empowerment to make you feel left out. They were messing with your emotional state. And they were putting aside your emotional concerns. Meaning, they were putting you to the side of not giving a damn about how you felt. They didn't give a shit. They literally, from you... They put you to the side and they were having a good old time wherever the hell they were at, wherever the hell they were doing, all right? With friends. And the devil is laughing at them because it's nothing but a laughing stock. That it is well known as of right now. That's why people can't handle your criticism. They can't stand you being a public speaker or they don't like you communicating your vision of what possibly what you are seeing with your third eye. Angelic protection. Advice. They should have took another direction. And the owl knows secrets very well. And there's conflict. I'll go and leave that out. There's conflict. I'll leave that out. But I'm going to shuffle. So, yeah, there's conflict that they're all tied up. And they're not going to be able to think on their feet. Because now the past is revealed. Now their strength and their trust. Now they don't know what to do or how to deal with it because of what they've done to you. Yeah, cel celebration. Yeah, that's actually what these people were celebrating about. That's why... That's why they're the laughing stock is because that's what they were doing. That's why they can't handle how the way you talk. You knew they were going somewhere and they were making fun of you and they were celebrating the fact of they thought they were going to bring you a crisis. They thought they were going to have the satisfaction to celebrate your downfall and it didn't work out like that. Huh, I promise you that. Yeah, success. It wasn't very successful, but it is successful that they brought their asses karma and judgment upon themselves. And the command. So there's going to be a command here that there's going to have to be honesty in this situation. It will have to be known. There's honesty that's going to have to be spoken about. And somebody's not going to be speaking honesty about this. That's what they were doing. They were going elsewhere to try to get another relationship. And they thought they were going to have the satisfaction to try to bring you a crisis. They were celebrating. Making fun of the fact that they were going to bring you hostile energies. And it didn't work out like that. 
it's a humorous situation that their celebration pretty much it's gonna be a sense of humorous that's gonna there's gonna be a celebration to their judgment because there's patience patience wanted to come out so I'll go on and share that real quick there's judgment and patience I accept that everything happens in divine order so there will be divine order being brought to the surface that there's gonna have to why do you keep doing that okay I don't know why you two are wanting to come out Ooh. these cards just literally moved about three they're wanting to come out so I cannot control this all right all right, let me see. There's danger, friendship, somebody slept with an enemy. Yeah, there's danger here, which is going to bring grief. Tears are what happen when the ice in the heart melts. So somebody is cold as ice. And they're about to find out what grief really is. All right, so there is danger friendship and vigilance there's two danger cards here somebody is literally sleeping with the enemy somebody is not a friend somebody is literally a snake in your corner and somebody's not going to be honest about this all right at that too somebody is cold as ice there is danger because there's a friend who is also trying to bring some type of upheaval and danger to the mix. So danger of sleeping with the enemy and once they slept with the enemy, it's going to bring danger to the table, which somebody's not going to be honest about. And for some odd reason, empathy wanted to show up. So I'll put empathy out here. Like I said, I cannot control these cards. Somebody is not looking at a situation of what somebody has done to the energy flow. This is very serious. This is not something to be playing with. When it comes to people... And empathy, somebody's not looking at both sides of the story. Somebody's not emphasizing of what they have done. There's going to be people who are actually are going to have the empathy to understand. Wow. You know, and they would actually understand your criticism. Because when you communicate with vision, you're actually explaining a story of what they need to know so somebody just pretty much is not going to be honest about danger coming in the mix of sleeping with the enemy that was a friend which is going to bring vigilance not something very good and there's there's going to be some people who are going to be em emp empathize empathize with you and there's going to be some with empathy who is going to understand this. And then there's going to be people who are going to be cold as ice about this and not going to give a damn because you called them out. For people who actually understands the spiritual laws, that's why there's judgment here and have patience. These people will get their reality check. Give it time. So just know that there's going to need to be, oh, be honesty and honesty wanted to come out. I can't fit anymore as of right now, but thank you for letting me know, Spirit, or for whoever needed this. So yeah, empathy, honesty. So yeah, there, the empathy part, there's going to be people who are going to be honestly understanding and then you're going to have some 
that are not going to be able to take your honesty very well at this time. You're going to have people who's going to try to bring hostility because karma's here, judgment's here. Have the patience that, yeah, they literally, their happiness is about to be taken away, I would say, at that too. So you got judgment, patient, happiness is in reverse. They're not very happy about how you're speaking. They're not happy about how you criticize them. They're not happy you are um, communicating your vision. They're not happy with you having a public speaking. They don't like this about you. Well, too fucking bad. This message will be out one way or another. And I don't care how you feel on it. You know, somebody, somebody was going to need to know this. And you got what? You got danger twice. You got friend twice. You got honesty twice. You got love twice. Yeah, so pretty much you almost got pretty much stuff out here. That's almost double clarifying twice. Almost. Near it. But hopefully this helped you guys. Just understand, not everybody is going to like your honesty, but for the people who will empathize with you, they would actually appreciate your criticism because that will help them to learn how to be better. Or they like your honesty is because they know they can trust you. But for the people who don't like you being honest or having honesty, they feel like you put them in danger. They feel like they are in danger because of what you understand of what you're sharing, what you're talking about, what you know about at this time. People should have been careful what they have done on a half to a full moon. This is all the messages that I got. But remember the conflict. You got owl twice at that too. You got celebration twice. And there's going to be a command. There's going to be a command of divine order of justice. People are not ready for this. But just remember. When you observe. You are calling people out. And their actions are showing that they are guilty. But don't harp on it. This will help you to figure out. And also this will help you to send it back to the sender once you start understanding what happened at that too but trust me the devil just made these people look really pathetic and also these people just humiliated themselves really bad to a core from not being honest or it could be that maybe these people are mad at you for being, for criticizing them, for sharing your communication and your vision, they feel like either you put them in danger or there is somebody who's not going to be honest and tell people that they want to put you in danger. And you are protected. These people, if they're going to try to do anything, trust and believe God will do that judgment call on them. They will not get the Nine of Cups out of this. And then you got the Emperor. So I don't know. Like I said, the Empress and the Emperor. So somebody was trying to get a wish fulfillment with a Empress and Emperor. Trying to get the wish fulfillment. It did not work out. Because the energy flow, there's too many spiritual laws broken. There was too many people acting foo-foo-gazy for cuckoo puffs. There's just too much revealed here and acknowledge and wisdom of the unhidden, of the unknown. Possibly people, places, and things where it may have happened at. Just remember, just watch and wait. Because spiderweb 
make your dreams real. So pretty much what they did, they webbed a weave they cannot get out of. They made a spider web that make your dreams real. They just manifested for you to watch and wait. They're, they just manifested to make their make your dreams come real or make your dreams real. The only thing they asked for out of this is a judgment call and a command to where they shall get a rude awakening and they shall get karma. That is the only thing that made their dreams a reality and true is their worst nightmare. And I hope you guys have a nice day. Hopefully this helped too.